Box. Once again, to Late Night Sex Talk with me, Dr. X. Good evening, Doctor. Check it out. What it is, is I gotta take you, see, and I'm a little nervous because it'll be the first time I get to meet a girl outside of the courtroom. I see. A typical case of adolescent insecurity. So how old are you? Oh, I'm 42. <sighs> so you're not an adolescent. I guess you're just, um, uh, ugly. What's that? Well, when on a date, it's essential to make a good impression. Take a look at this photo. Oh, I'm sorry, not that one. First of all, if you're meeting in a restaurant for dinner, you should gently slide back her chair so that she can be seated. I got it. And then, just as she leans forward, I jump on her and hump her on top of the table. Is that it? No, 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 no. Just take a look at the next picture. What should you do next? Take a red ball in my mouth, rip off all my clothes, and get a panda to flog me? Ah, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with this machine today. Before you begin a conversation, it's polite to order a bottle of wine. All right, then I empty it over her head and drink the wine as it comes dripping off her breast, right? Listen, have you done it? I mean, are you a virgin? No, God no. Well, um, a little. All right, yeah, I'm a virgin. But I got a buttload of porn movies. I got them all on video. My dear friend, real life is one thing. And the things you've seen in porn movies is something different. Just because you hear a saxophone, it doesn't mean there's about to be a sex scene. I'm serious. Watch this. Oh, heavens. What happened there was an exception. Thank you so much for your call. Enjoy your sex. Oh, yeah.